With the release of SDXL Lightning, the generation time becomes slower. Today, Juggernaut released his Lightning version, which is called Juggernaut XL, which allows us to create high-resolution images with low CFG scale and steps. The Juggernaut models are well known for their image portrait, but they can also cover a variety of styles, from the nature, cartoonish, sty stylish, and also architecture. So to test out the limitation, we're gonna try different font and different styles and see if the generated images are consistent and also testing out the font alignment. For that, I already prepared a workflow, which is a basic workflow that contains a checkpoint loader, a clip text, and the key sampler. The latent image I'm gonna be sticked to 1024 but it is recommended to use another resolution which you can find out on their link for the sampler I used DPM++ STU with color scheduler I'm gonna also use a CFG scale F1 and steps of 8 in order to compare it with the STXL lightning but it is recommended to use steps between 4 and 6 I also added an upscaler nodes which use Ultimate SD upscale. You can choose different upscale model to generate your images. However, make sure that you have the same parameters as your key sampler here. So we choose a CFG scale of 1 and also steps of 8 alongside with DPM++ and Karos as scheduler. Okay, as you can see here, I did a variety of tests with different prompt styles going from portraits, nature scene, details, creatures, hands, abstract, and full body generation. So we're gonna start by the portraits. You can see that we have different portraits here, and I also included their prompt. So once you download my workflow, you can find all these necessary files that you need. You can see that all those images looks incredible for the portraits as it is well known that Jokemo can create wonderful image portraits. For the nature scene, we can also see amazing images. The details images is a good way to test in model images, since most of those checkpoints can generate a good details on the front, but have poor uh, details quality in the, in the back. So we can see here that we have a good details around the flower, and also we have good details on the back. The same goes for these images. We have a mushroom house here with a lot of interesting details. I also test it out with the crowd face, which is the most difficult image to generate alongside with the hands. And here you can see that there is a good consistency with these images. We can set the same thing about this Pikachu here. We have a good consistency of faces here. Okay, on the creature, we have different images. And we can see that how those images look incredible, especially the dragon one. There is a lot of details and the color are more vibrant and interesting. For the hand generation, we still have the six fingers problem, even with this juggernaut lightning. We can see here that we have more fingers than, than we used to. We also still face the cross fingers generation problem. So we can say that we have limitation over here. The abstract images looks also amazing. You can see the, the details and the quality of these images. For full body creation, we can also say that the images looks incredible. You can see this robot here with a lot of details. I also created this, this hybrid robot with the, and we can see that the details are interesting. Also, I, I also noticed that the hands here look more consistent compared to the previous images. However, when I tried this with Smith spaghetti image, we have some, some limitation over the hands and also the face but we can fix this with some impainting. So, in conclusion, we can say that this Juggernaut Lightning is a good model for generating images with short amount of time and also with high resolution. However, I don't recommend you using it for the hands generation since we still have some problem with fingers. I also noticed that this Juggernaut can't follow 
a negative prompt since it is recommended to start with no negative and add some additional stuff to regenerate the images. However, overall, I still think that it is suitable and a good model for generating high resolution images. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section and don't forget to stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.